Hey guys, it's Cockerpunk here. Uh, just wanted to talk to you guys about the new uh, backspin bolt and uh, maybe explain the test a little bit more and explain my theory on the results. Um, so, the backspin bolt uh, test was specifically redone because of a lot of concerns on M. Carter Brown about the accuracy of our original testing. And so, um, we obviously got a much sweeter rig going, and uh, we also talked to a guy named H.P. Lovecraft specifically about his anecdote that he had a gun with a Cooper T. backspin bolt that shot farther. And so, we tried to replicate exactly what he was doing with our rig and our measurements and all that jazz. So, he said, first off, we need to overbore by t about ten thousandths of an inch. Um, we overboard by nine thousandths. Sorry. Um, <laughs> so, we, we got the overboring done. And then the other thing he said was, uh, we need a short barrel. Because he found that with a long barrel, the balls would corkscrew. Um, and that as he cut the barrel off shorter and shorter, that the flight straightened out until it was just simply a backspin shot. So that's why we shot with the freak, just the back, not with the front on it. Anyway, so, uh, we shot, uh, okay, so that's the reason why we did the test and the results we got. So, uh, looking at the results we got, uh, most people post, when Bryce posted the, uh, the data, everybody said, whoa, the means are higher. Uh, backspin does work because the means are higher in every regard, yada, yada, yada. You guys are a bunch of biased idiots, da, 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 da. Okay, um, well, if you look, though, the means most of the time are, like, uh, like, 0.4 to 0.6 inches higher. Um, and if you really think the error compounded in the system is down to a half an inch resolution, then you're crazy. Uh, fortunately, though, not only do we just have my assurance that you're crazy, we also have a mathematical uh, thing called a confidence interval um, that can quantify these things. So, uh, if you look up the Wikipedia or whatever for confidence interval, it's kind of interesting uh, if you like stats. Um, it just basically shows uh, we took a sample of 20 shots, and we're trying to apply that sample mean to a population mean. And a population would mean, mean would be if we shot a gun infinitely many times with this system, what the average would be. So we're trying to apply our sample mean, which is only 20 shots, to infinity shots. And so um, there's a confidence interval from our sample mean to where the true mean is. And what the confidence interval means is that I use the 99% rule, which is um, if we took another sample of 20 shots, it would be 99% of the time it would fall within that interval. Um, and so it basically quantifies the error in the system. And we showed uh, with the graphs that the confidence intervals are larger than the difference in means in every respect except for one. So for overboring, like H.P. Lovecraft said, we got nothing, zero, no effect. For overboring with short barrel, we got nothing, zero, no effect. Um, but the weird thing is, is, when we went to a blow test match, we got a statistically higher mean. Now, um, the means are about two and a half inches apart. Uh, so, and that is statistically uh, valid. It did shoot farther according to the test and the confidence intervals. Um, so, we, uh, first off, we need to think about this in terms of, first off, the claims made by people who make these bolts and stuff like that is that they increase range by 50 to 100 feet. That's what uh, B on it own, I think his name is, uh, on AO who's selling Cooper T bolts says that it shoots that much farther and uh, and you know some people claim like a flatline type effect and an apex type effect. That just is not true. We know that's not true even from the last test. That uh, there isn't a huge impact. Um, the second thing is, um, every gun I ever shot could shoot paint far enough if I angled it high enough that it would bounce off the target. So there isn't really any usable extra range to ever be had in paintball because the paintball will just slow to the point where it won't break. So usable range is not something we're getting here. Theoretical range though is something we are getting and um, and 
and uh, I can go into the reason why I think that in a little bit here. Um, but maybe I can point you guys in the right direction and maybe go to uh, the paint barrel match test because that's where I think um, the reason why this all worked. Uh, the key to it is in the paint barrel match testing. Um, so if you guys want to check that out, uh, maybe post some hypothesis or something like that. Uh, this is just a further explanation of the test. So you guys have a good one, and uh, I'll talk to you later.